recorder going here. There we go. Put that over to the side. And this is um, simple random sampling. Now, random sampling, uh, this is a process using ch chance to select the individuals from a population to be included in the sample. Uh, note, if convenience is used to obtain a sample, the results of the survey are meaningless. Um, now, oftentimes people do use convenience uh, to do their samples. Sometimes it, they uh, deliberately do that uh, to get the results they want. Uh, for example, if, I, if I'm doing a poll, um, trying to talk about uh, presidential approving. Uh, approval ratings, um, excuse me, um, then I probably don't want to talk to somebody that's a member of the other party. Um, so I'll talk to somebody specific. If I want to talk talk to, um, find out about the uh, casino, maybe I'm against casinos, then I probably won't go down and talk to some of the Southern Baptists and uh, take polls of them to see how they, how they feel about the, ca the casino. Um, it'll show that a community is against it then. On the other hand, if I'm uh, wanting to get my present a positive uh, poll, I can maybe go down to the bar and ask people about um, the casino. They're probably all going to be for it. Um, so it has to be random. Um, otherwise, it's complete garbage. And that's what this is saying. Now, there's four basic uh, sampling techniques. Uh, simple random sampling, which we'll look at in this section. Uh, stratified sampling, systematic sampling, and cluster sampling. Those last three is in the next section. Now, a sample of size n from population of size capital N. Now, little n is your how many is in your sample. So if I talk to 20, 20 individuals in a town. Uh, the capital N is your population. Uh, and that's true throughout this entire course. Uh, so if I'm talking maybe Mulvane, uh, I think there might be, uh, I'm just guessing, 8,000 people here. So capital N would be 8,000. The little n, uh, maybe I'll talk 20, so you know, little n is 20, is obtained through simple random sampling if every possible sample of size n has an equally likely chance of occurring. The sample is then called a simple random sample. And very important that you don't try to tailor your sample to, um, uh, to get the results you want. Now there's uh, two, two types of um, sampling. Uh, first one is sample without replacement. An individual who is selected is removed from the population and cannot be chosen again. And then a sample with replacement. A selected individual is placed back into the population and can be chose, cho chose a second time. Could be chosen a second time. Uh, I'm not very good with English. <laughs> um, well, let's look at an example. There's not a whole lot in this section. They just talk about random numbers. And we're going to be taking a look at the table. So I got um, this, this, uh, these names. Uh, it says pick three names at random using table one. And I'm going to do without replacement, such that um, uh, we don't put them back into the mix. Uh, we got Frank, David, Bill, Mary, Sherry, Sam, Eric, Michelle, and Danielle. First thing I want to do is label these, uh, or number them. Sorry, I've been on phone to tech support. <laughs> for about an hour and a half. My brain's about fried. I think I need to go get a pop. Uh, so I go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. If you don't uh, number them in some manner, then um, this doesn't really work very well. Now, if we turn to Table 1 in Appendix A, and we get a, a list of random numbers here. If I drop my pin, for example, and it actually uh, falls down here on um, this, this particular item here, 30118, and um, what we're going to find then is that that's our starting place. Now, if I go back here, all of these are single digit numbers, one through nine. So I'm going to take a look at the last digit, which is eight, and that's the only one I'm going to look at. And then I'm going to go down. So I got eight, five, and six. So what I'm going to do. I come over here and I look at the eighth, eighth item, the fifth item, and the sixth item. So my answer would be Michelle, Sherry, Sam, which I put over here. Michelle, Sherry, Sam. Now, if uh, if I drop my pen and it fell somewhere different, um, it fell um, I don't know right here on three six eight two nine. Well, if I look at the last digit, uh, nine two one. Well, then my sample would be nine, which is Danielle. 
two, which is David, and one, which is Frank. And um, now, if I throw, if I drop my pen and it fell on this one, two eight three two nine. Um, see how it starts at nine, then it goes nine nine seven. Well, if I didn't want replacement, I'm not putting the. Uh, I can't choose it twice, the same one. Then I would skip one of these nine, so I'd have nine seven three. So it'd be Danielle, Eric, and Bill. Now, if I dropped it here and with with replacement, which means I can choose that same name twice, I'd have nine nine seven, which be Danielle, Danielle, Eric. So that's how you use those random numbers. Now, if I had um, over here, instead of these being single digits, let's say I had uh, twenty names, went from one to twenty, then I'd have to take the two digits. Such that it fell right here, I would choose 18, 65, and 26. Now, if I don't have a 65 items, I would ignore that one. If I don't have 26 items, I'd ignore that one. 53, I'd ignore that one. So you kind of have to play with this a little bit. Um, it's not perfect. Um, using, using tables isn't a very good option. Uh, I would refer you to watch the videos on how to do it with a uh, with, uh, calculator or with Excel is the best, best uh, one way to do this. But that's how you use the tables to get your random random sample. Now, any problems I may be asking for that, uh, if you're in an online class, they probably don't give you the option. But in class, they'll ask you to describe your technique. Um, the technique would be I dropped my pen. It fell on 30118. And I took the last digit of the three numbers, and I got 856 for my, for my sample. And uh, that's actually all of that section. So let me go ahead and shut off the recorders.